Welcome to my training video titled 12 Deadly Errors Made by Correctional Officers. I'm Carl Torsbins. These 12 deadly errors can be applied to many different situations and it's important that you make a situational assessment on every task you conduct while a correctional officer or detention officer because the people that you're dealing with are manipulative and always looking for an easy way out. Make sure you take the time to learn about the job and you learn about who and what you're dealing with whenever you're on duty. Don't take anything for granted. Train and research. Never take a bad position. If you escort prisoners, walk behind them, not in front of them. Make sure there's always room in your personal safety zone that keeps you from being in a bad position. Don't ignore the warning signs. You have a sixth sense, use it. Don't become complacent and ignore the things that may impose danger to you or others. Be alert. Don't may take shortcuts in poor searches. Poor searches result in weapons, drugs, and other contraband that can harm you and others. And remember, if you find contraband, don't stop your search. Poor handcuffing. Handcuff in the back. Double lock the handcuffs. Handcuff and restrain according to policy. Shortcuts are deadly. Don't relax too soon. Just because you think your task is done doesn't mean you can let your guard down. Stay on your toes at all times. Be aware of your surroundings and take notice of what's going around and what's being said. Never make false assumptions. Complacency is the number one enemy of the correctional officer. It isn't always the way you expect it to be. It isn't always the way you see it. Remember, expect the unexpected. Don't take unnecessary risk. Do it by the book. Perform your duties as trained and avoid shortcuts. Don't take unnecessary risk that puts you or others in danger. Coming to work fatigued or tired is detrimental to your detail to your job and to the task assigned to you. Get rested and come to work with a clear head. If you're assigned to max custody or an area where you wear body armor, put your plate in there. Don't just wear the body armor because they tell you to. Wear it with the complete plate. Failure to control weapon, those are your special posts. Remember proximity. Remember that your weapon is a instrument that you need to be in control of at all times. D don't fail to react. Look at your environment and see what's going on around you. Don't hesitate to report the unusual. Just because you think that's the way it's supposed to be doesn't mean it is supposed to be that way. Remember officer safety based on three things, command presence and your ability to make situational assessments, proper preparation to the job, training and self-development exercises, and following the rules and policies and procedures and report anything that's out of the ordinary or warrants the review of a supervisor to help you with the threat assessment. As always, thank you for watching my training videos. I invite you to view many other videos available on YouTube and my articles that I write on correctional, corrections.com for correctional officers. Be safe.